Welcome, boys and girls. What's the word for today? How to keep yourself occupied in times of stress and agony and worry with everything that's going on. You want to keep safe. You want to keep clean. You want to keep social distance. You want to be aware of who you are and who's next to you. I mean, really aware of who's next to you, who's close to you. Because you have the choice to be with a group or by yourself. Being by yourself doesn't have to be bad. You don't have to be looking at it like solitary confinement. No, 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 no. You can, you can do things. You can keep yourself clean. I keep myself clean all day, all night. Because this is where I belong. Right here, right now. But I'm not betraying you, boys and girls. I'm not forsaking my responsibility. So, what is the word for today? What is the word? We just open the book at random and we come across the word. What's the word? What is the word? I don't have my glasses. Why well, I don't have my glasses? It's charcoal. The word for today is charcoal. Now, think about the word charcoal. What can you do with the word charcoal? Just about nothing. So tell me, what word would you like? Tell me what, you, what, would you, what, would you, what word would you like? Come on. Tell me what word you want me to look up. Because I'll look up any word for you at all. Safety in times of crisis. Safety in times of urgency. We need to do what's best for ourselves. No, life is not the way it used to be. Life has changed. Life has changed probably permanently. And you have to accept it. You have to accept being where you are, in the situation where you are, because it doesn't have to be the end of your world. It can be the start of a whole new world. Start a whole new way of looking at life. No one is above. No one is below. Everyone is on the same level. And we have to understand that being on the same level, we have a responsibility not only to ourselves, but to our fellow men. We have been told we have to stay indoors. We have to be sane. We have to be clear-headed. We can't lose it. We can't go insane. We have to stay with ourselves and, and meditate and keep our masks on. Keep our masks on tight and keep clean. Always clean. Wash your hands as many times as you think is necessary. Take as many showers as you think is necessary. But I'm not worried about that because this is where I live. This is where I stay. I got pretty much everything here. I got my coffee, I got my sandwiches, I got my books, I got everything. No disease is above you. No calamity is above you. You can triumph. Now, what 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 word you want? Come on, what word would you want? Today is about words. Tell me. What word? Sacrifice. Sacrifice for the good of man, for the good of you. You sacrifice whatever it needs, whatever it takes. You have to be above, be above the, no, be, be above the tribe, be above the disease. Be above making a fool of yourself. People are gonna criticize you. They're gonna act like you don't know what's going on. You don't know, have you had any idea what's happening? Because you're acting like a nutball. Well, no. You have to take matters in hand and you have to do what's necessary. Keep matters in hand. You have to be going forward. You have to do it things. Learn a word a day. Learn 10 words a day. Learn 100 words a day. Because that is the way you're going to defeat this. I can't tell you anything more about this. It's just the way we are. It's just the way. What life has presented ourselves with a great challenge. So, if you can't tell me anything, well, I just gonna have to go. 
Well, it's been nice talking with you. It's been nice meeting you for the time that we have. And remember, always have a dictionary on hand. Keep that dictionary because you never know when you're going to need it. And keep yourself clean. Keep yourself clean. Yes.